On tonight's episode of Drunk Cooking with Zig, we kept it simple, stupid. Let H-E-B do most of the work. Well, packaging and advertising. Ooh, looks delicious. I made some. What? It looks the same as on the box? That's amazing. Anyway, so yeah, this is done. Bacon exists. We're just going to taste. Just kidding. I'm an overachiever. Mac and cheese by itself with uh, bacon. That won't do it for me. I'm going to cook up some corn, some onion, some garlic in here. Let's do it. All right. So I've decided to use a very high heat to get this started. It's 400 smoking. It's good. I got to dump the corn in like right now and watch it jump. Let's see if it turns into popcorn. Is this how you make popcorn? You just throw raw corn into a frying pan. Just crank up the heat. Just let it go. No, probably not. This is probably just how you make nice roasted stuff. So I'm going to throw in the onions as well. Because they're going to need time to sweat a little bit. But again, garlic burns. Leave it out until the end. We will mix and keep firing on high. So even though we have the heat cranked up to high on the stove, right? This is going to remain at about 210 degrees or so until all the moisture is boiled out. And then it gets really interesting very quick. Watch out for the burn. Be careful. So now that we're coming to the end of cooking the corn and the onion before it burns, because we've got about a, probably a minute or two left of moisture, I'm guessing. Like, this is just some experience. So we're going to finally add in the garlic, because it burns! And a little bit of black pepper. Because why not? But I actually did not add any salt to this, because the spirals and the mac and cheese and the bacon over there, they all have tons of salt. So we're just going to keep mixing this for another minute or so until the garlic is happy happy and the moisture is out of the picture. You can see I have the heat on high and look, as soon as I scrape the bottom it's starting to burn, time to turn that heat off and we're going to actually remove this from the heat completely, not just in the frying pan, but remove it to a cold vessel so we have no more cooking because it's going to burn. So we're now just going to add this together into the mac and cheese and make magic. You know, as a transplanted into Texas, the thought again crossed my mind to make tacos out of mac and cheese and bacon and the corn thing. But no, we're going to overachieve again. We're going to make Polish tortillas. That's right. Crepes. Bam. Let's do it. What do we do? One cup of flour. That's right. We're going to use the, uh, the Tipo Double O from Italia because it's good and better. Uh, we're going to mix in one half cup of milk and one half cup of water. That's why this looks a little weird. So it's already pre-mixed. That's it. We're going to do the uh, two eggs combo special. That's needed. We're going to do um, two tablespoons of butter. That's about that much. And it's like really hot and melted because it's Texas. And a pinch of salt. And then you stir. Now that we're done stirring and everything is all nice and watery because that's what you want for crepes because you want it to go all around, somebody told me that when you add just a little bit of rum, things get better. So let's just do that. Just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Perfect splash. All right. Let's get that going. Are we at a good temperature for the cook? 250. You know what? For a crepe, that actually kind of works. You don't want it too high because it gets brown too fast. So I don't need the whisk anymore. We're just gonna get the uh, the scoop and um, let's go to town. See what happens. The first one always gets messed up. Remember that. Never perfect. Okay, I clearly did not get enough stuff on there, but um, yeah, we're gonna let this guy go. Turn the heat up a little bit and see what happens. Since this is our first crepe of the cook, and they never work out, we're just gonna have some fun right now. It's all slidey, it's all almost ready. Let's see if we can flip it. Whoa, done. But we definitely need more heat. This is how you know. The first one, is see, too greasy, not dark enough. I'm gonna add to the fire, and the next one will be better. I mean, for a first pe pe uh, uh, crepe, this is not terrible. It's not the worst, it's not the ugliest, not perfect, but I'm gonna take it off now. And now we're gonna do it for real. Because the second one is always better. So definitely more um, of the magic sauce. 
There we go. That'll coat the pan all around. Get it everywhere. Nice and even. That's what we're looking for. Oh. Look at that. Right to the edges. That's what you want to see. And you want to keep rolling it around until the sauce becomes thicker and thicker and thicker until it stops moving like this. And then you put it down. So now that we're in full swing, crepe making mode, and you look around, you see the edges are dry. Then we're gonna flip this baby. Should be ready to go. Bam, look at that color and marbling. Almost looks like a Wagyu steak. All right, let's see how we did. I think it's time to flip it over one more time just to check. Oh, pretty, everything's great. I'm gonna take this guy off and get the next guy going. See, now that the frying pan's all nice and hot, the right temperature, you don't need any more grease, really. You just need the right amount of batter because it's got a lot of butter and stuff in it, and it'll be fine. Once again, put it down, start rolling until it rolls no more. There we go. Look at that. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I think I listened to Limp Biscuit recently. I don't know why. I apologize. But keep going, 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 keep going. There we go. A little bit more. No, that's it. Okay, fine. It's finally time for final assembly and eating. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this moment for two hours. Yes, this is how long I suffered making crepes and stuff. Anyway, crepe. Um, we want to put a nice base of. Oh wait, you know what? Bacon first. But here's the deal. We only want to do like a quarter of the crepe because of the way you fold it. And we're going to put some mac and cheese. There you go. A little bit of our corn succotash mixture, whatever. And then you always got to remember, you always need some greens to make it look pretty. So we're going to use pickles. Why? Because this needs pickles. And then we fold in half this way and half this way. And then we look at it, and then we put it in our mouth. Mmm. 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 Come on. The craziest combination of flavors. Pickles, mac and cheese, corn, and bacon. In a grape. I'm sorry, a Polish taco. Make some! It keeps getting better when you get to the middle.